July 17, 2019 marked 30 years since the B-2 Spirit first took to the skies and became America's premier long-range strike bomber. The B-2, a Northrop Grumman engineering marvel and legendary aircraft, spelled a quantum leap for technology and American air superiority. Even today, the B-2 continues to perform, inspire, and pave the way forward. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the unbelievable power of the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Designed during the Cold War as the world's first low-observable or stealth strategic bomber, the B-2 Spirit harks back to the designs of revolutionary engineer Jack Northrup. His flying wing design first debuted in 1949 as the YB-49, but was not adapted by the Air Force at the time. The B-2 Spirit is a multi-role bomber capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. The bomber represents a major milestone in the U.S. bomber modernization program and brings massive firepower to bear anywhere on the globe through previously impenetrable defenses. It is described as one of the most survivable aircrafts in the world. This incredible bomber is capable of all-altitude attack missions up to 50,000 feet, with a range of more than 6,000 nautical miles unrefueled and over 10,000 nautical miles with one refueling, giving it the ability to fly to any point in the world within hours. Its distinctive profile comes from the unique flying wing construction, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The leading edges of the wings are angled at 33 degrees and the trailing edge has a double W shape. The aircraft measures 69 feet long, 17 feet high, and has a wingspan of 172 feet, half the length of a football field. The B-2's low observability is derived from a combination of reduced infrared, acoustic, electromagnetic, visual, and radar signatures. These signatures make it difficult for the sophisticated defensive systems to detect, track, and engage the B-2. The cockpit accommodates two crew, a pilot in the left seat and mission commander in the right, and has provisions for a third crew member if needed. The cockpit is equipped with a color, nine-tube electronic flight instrumentation system, which displays flight, engine, and sensor data, and avionic systems and weapon status. The pilot can choose to activate the appropriate selection of flight and mission equipment for takeoff mode, go to war mode, and landing mode by using a simple three-way switch. The aircraft carries all its weapons internally and is fitted with two separate weapons bays in the center of the aircraft. The B-2 stealth bomber has the capacity to carry up to 40,000 pounds of weapons, including conventional and nuclear weapons, precision-guided munitions, gravity bombs, and a range of maritime weapons. Each weapons bay is equipped with a rotary launcher and two bomb rack assemblies. In tests, the B-2 successfully released B-61 and B-83 nuclear and Mark 84 conventional bombs from the rotary rocket launcher, and Mark 82 and CBU-87 conventional weapons from the bomb racks. The B-61-11 is an earth-penetrating nuclear bomb for use against deeply buried and hardened targets. The B-83 is a strategic freefall nuclear bomb. The Spirit Bomber is powered by four General Electric non-afterburning F-118 GE-100 turbofan engines internally mounted in the body of the wings. The engines provide high subsonic speeds of 900 km per hour and altitudes of 12,000 meters with a maximum gross takeoff weight of 336,500 pounds. The engines also have an exhaust temperature control system to minimize thermal signature. The in-flight refueling gear is installed in the top center line of the aircraft behind the cockpit. The Spirit was unveiled in 1988 and made its first flight the following year. But even before it began production in 1993, the Cold War abruptly ended with the dissolution of the Soviet Union, largely taking the rationale for a nuclear-armed superbomber with it. 
the Pentagon hastily placed new emphasis on developing the B-2's non-nuclear capabilities. The Spirit's procurement was first reduced to 75, then cut to 20 by the Bush administration in 1992. An additional B-2 prototype was converted to operational status under Clinton to make a total of 21. This caused the B-2's half-billion-dollar unit price to surge to $929 million, counting spirit parts, upgrades, and technical support. With development factored in, the Spirits come out to $2.1 billion, by far the most expensive airplane ever built. But the B-2s were not just expensive to build, they also cost a fortune to operate, with every flight hour costing a staggering $163,000 per flight hour and 60 man-hours of maintenance. Simply maintaining each B-2 costs $41 million per year. Furthermore, each Spirit requires a special extra-wide $5 million air-conditioned hangar to maintain its radar-absorbent coating. And every seven years, the Spirits receive a $60 million overhaul in which the radar-absorbent materials are carefully blasted off the skin and the surfaces are inspected for tiny dents and scratches. The Spirit Bomber saw its first operational use during Operation Allied Force. Two B-2s flew more than 31 hours from White Man Air Force Base in Missouri to Kosovo. They attacked multiple targets, then flew directly back. The B-2s flew less than 1% of the total missions, yet destroyed 33% of the targets during the first eight weeks of conflict. These magnificent aircrafts hold the record for longest air combat mission in history. In 2001, the Spirit of America and five other B-2s were the first to enter Afghan airspace for a record-setting 44-hour mission. The aircraft's performance is even more impressive in that the B-2 made a quick pit stop for a 45-minute crew and service change with engines still running. It then flew back to Missouri for another 30-hour flight for a total of more than 70 consecutive hours. But it's not just in the war zones that this spectacular aircraft is seen. It has also become a bit of a Hollywood movie star. When Hollywood needs a super bomber to make a cameo and fight off a giant monster or an alien invasion, the red carpet is rolled out for the B-2. With an unmistakable silhouette and flying wing design, it's easily one of the most recognized aircraft in the world. What do you think of the B-2 Spirit Bomber? Is it worth the money? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it.